live squid. Yeah, you read that title right. What do you do when 4,000 baby octopuses, or is it octopi, squid? I don't know, what do you do when 4,000 of them show up accidentally at your door? <laughs> what do we do? Well, we're gonna find out. Let me show you what we got going on here. You can imagine our surprise when 14 boxes showed up on our front porch the other day full of, you heard it right, baby octopi let me show you these things so come on in here look look at this look live squid you, you gotta see it to even come close to believing it and i'll show you what we got going on here nathan would you open this box up i can't do it one-handed so 14 of these boxes 4,000 of these little buggers thankfully they're dormant uh it's cold they're dry and refrigerated so so they're dormant here but let me let, let, let's let me get in here Look, look at these things packed in here i never even knew there was such a thing here's what here's what we got now you see we, we got a few more than eight tentacles um i don't know if if like this is some kind of hybrid or if like they grow all of them into one but anyway got these tentacles if you look real close you can see at the at the top there it's got a, a beak forming um i have no idea so uh got to ask yourself what happened here well, I'll explain um, actually I've been on the phone for the last couple hours with a uh, certain online worldwide retailer that shall remain Amazonimous um, trying to get to the bottom of this and after much discussion and, and uh, um, <laughs> explaining we finally figured this out uh, apparently Greenfield zip code now this is true this parts true uh, Greenfield zip code is shared by a town on the northern coast of Brazil and let's just say there's a fine chap on the northern coast of Brazil that's gonna be a little short on his calamari order now <clears throat> shipping costs are so high this uh, this uh, certain retailer that shall remain Amazonimous uh, didn't want us to ship these things back because can't afford it so we're stuck with 4,000 of these things and you know me I can't just throw them out so Turn to Google. Come to find out, you can farm raise octopus. Did you guys know this? Boy, did you, here, turn this way, turn this way. Where are my boys? Did you guys know this before? No. Before, no, but you can. It's, you've heard of farm raised catfish. You've heard of farm raised tilapia, salmon. And pearls. Pearls, all right, Jeremiah says you can farm raise pearls. Um, you can farm raise octopus, so. That's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna explain to you how we're gonna do it. Now, in the course of researching how we're gonna raise these octopi, octopuses, I'll never get that right, Jeremiah here, as part of his school project, did a little research, and he found out the exact, here, let me come here with, let's get Jeremiah in frame here. He found out the exact scientific name of these octopi we're working with. Jeremiah, would you like to tell the world what we're dealing with here? Is Go for it. The world or just the USA? Well, I don't know. There's people. If you're from somewhere other than the USA and you're watching this, send leave us a comment down below so Jeremiah knows where you're from. What what are these things called? Asparagus deliciousness. There you go. Latin binomial nomenclature. True story there. As asparagus deliciousness is the type of these little boogers. So, um, I'm going to... Uh, change frames here and show you just how we're gonna plant these octopi yes plant them okay so the key to growing farm-raised octopus is we need to mimic the deep sea conditions that they're used to growing in so we need cool we need dark we need moist thankfully the soil we have here is quite frankly very cool dark and moist although we had to find a way to get these things into said soil and as you can imagine we searched green county far and wide and um everybody's fresh out of octopus planters so we had to modify one of our own let's show you what we got here so this is kind of a deep ripper thing you'll see a, uh, a point down there that digs the dirt we're putting these things in about a foot deep we don't want them to escape because that would be a mess yeah, yeah. anyway uh we got a, a, a cutter down there digging a trench and then we built this uh box to hold the dirt back and we can actually drop the octopi right yep right there hold on to him down in there and get him in the soil now 
we've learned a lot. These things, um, they stay dormant until they sense moisture and then they wake up like that. Okay, so we gotta get them down in the soil and covered up before, uh, before they wake up. So we're gonna show you that, how we're doing that. We'll get this thing fired up. Yeah, you ready? And we'll show you how we get these octopi in the ground and the thought being, come fall, we'll have uh, full grown octopi and calamari out our ears. All right, so here we are, dropping these buggers in the ground. As you can see, we're digging a trench. We're going nice and slow. We got our two experienced uh, octopi droppers dropping these in back to back. We're putting about a foot apart, about a foot deep. And like I said, the key, you see here, our, our cover crew coming along. We got to do that because if we don't get them covered and they hit that, that moisture, them things will jump right out of there and run away. So we're making sure we're getting them covered, putting them in the ground. Um, you can see behind me here, we got those rows done. We got those rows to go. It'll end up being about a half an acre worth of octopi. Um, let me get in close in case you want to see it here. There we go. Slow but sure, we're going to use these things and we're going to try it out. We're always, always trying new things here at Greenfields Farm. So thanks for following along. You enjoy your first day of April, everybody. Stay posted. We'll keep you updated on what's, what's really going on out here. Happy April Fools! We don't want them to escape. Hold on to him. Well, they sense moisture and then they wake up like that. We don't want them to get away from us. <laughs> them things will jump right out of there and run away. All right, so guys, you gotta be really careful once you take no, this rubber band. Don't let it loose! What? It's loose! Catch it! Don't let it get away! Oh no! 